Science fiction often informs actual technology. Holograms, real or fake, have become an increasingly common staple in the world of entertainment. In 2012, Snoop Dogg performed with the deceased Tupac Shakur at the Coachella Music Festival. The festival used a real performer and a holographic performer. Hatsune Miku is a digitally created Japanese pop star created in 2007. The company that created her, Vocaloid, gave her the ability to perform as a hologram at live arena concerts. She even opened for Lady Gaga in 2014's Art Pop Tour. As futuristic as these holograms seem, this technology's been around for years. In fact, these aren't even true holograms. They're made using an effect called Pepper's Ghost. Walt Disney and his Imagineers famously used the Pepper Ghost effect to create semi-transparent flying ghosts in the Haunted Mansion. Guests ride in the safety of their dune buggies above a series of animatronic ghosts. The animatronics are lit up and some of the light reflects off the glass to the guest's eyes. This creates a semi-transparent ghost in a predictable location. All of these fake holograms involve reflecting light off of a semi-transparent material. We can replicate these pepper ghost holograms. All we need is a smartphone and a pyramid hologram reflector. The reflector is made using a transparency sheet, an ancient teaching tool. A digital die cutter perforates the plastic sheet so it can be folded. A second blade cuts the pyramid hologram reflector so they can be easily removed from the sheet. Fold along the perforated lines to give the 2D figure a 3D shape. Lock the teeth together to hold the shape. Fold the teeth together to lock them in place. Lightly shape and bend your pyramid reflector so it looks square. To use your reflector, start a pyramid hologram video on YouTube and set your phone on the table. Place the reflector in the center of your screen. To view your hologram reflector, position yourself at eye level with the side of the reflector. The pepper effect will work in a lit room. However, it works better as you decrease the intensity of the light in the room. The pyramid reflector creates an image, even if you look at it from different sides. To understand how this pepper effect is created, we need to look at our two materials. Smartphone LCD screens are made of individual pixels. A pixel is a point of light on your phone that can create any color. Your screen's resolution is based on the number of pixels per square inch. If your phone gets wet, you can see that although these pixels are working to make a white image on the screen, there are actually three colors involved, red, green, and blue, the primary colors of light. This is because what you're seeing are called subpixels. Each pixel is typically made up of three subpixels, usually one red, one green, and one blue. Since a pixel is a point of light on your screen, these colored lights can mix to create any color on the color wheel. Your phone's screen emits light, so its intensity or brightness in candelas can be measured. Lux meters are used in the film industry to calculate illuminance so all characters and locations have an appropriate level of light reflecting off of them. At this distance for my studio lights, my Lux meter is reading about 541 Lux. I can use the Lux meter to measure the illuminance on the reflector. I use a distance of about 2 centimeters, or the average height of the reflector. And I got a reading of 26.5 lux. If I turn up the brightness of my phone, I'm increasing the intensity and luminous flux. So when I check my illuminance at the same distance, I notice that it increased as well, from 26.5 lux to 51.3 lux. Since a lot of that radiant energy doesn't even make it to your eye, it's very important to have your screen's brightness up high to see a clear image. The higher your screen's intensity, the higher the reflector's illuminance, and the more light reaches your eye. The other half of this pepper effect is the translucent but reflective surface. As light passes through the pyramid reflector, much of the light is lost as it passes through the top. A fraction of that radiant energy reflects off of the surface. This is the light that reflects from the pixels on your screen and travels to your eye. This is made possible by the fact that although light's a particle, 
a photon, it also acts as a wave. The incident wave creates an angle relative to the normal, and a wave reflects out at that same angle relative to the normal. This is why you view holograms at eye level with the pyramid. You're putting your eye in the path of this wave. A portion of the wave's energy continues straight upward. This is why the light you're seeing is not as bright as the image on your phone. At this point, place your reflector on the phone's screen. Let's look at a couple examples of the Pepper Ghost holograms. Here we have Mars, a planet you may actually get to visit one day. Imagine, though, sending a message from Mars back home. It would take about 22 minutes for that radio wave to travel to Earth, traveling at the speed of light. If that message is traveling at 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, it really puts into perspective how far you'll be away from your home planet. Speaking of Earth, there she is, a little sphere covered in water, land, and life, all powered by the sun's light. Every color from our white clouds and bluish green oceans to our blue skies and dark scary clouds are powered by interactions with light. And now for the big finale. Your subpixels are working overtime to create all of these lovely colors, forming colored light that travels from your phone's screen directly to your eye at the speed of light. Even if this hologram isn't a true hologram, as we continue exploring how to manipulate light, the future keeps looking brighter and brighter. Search YouTube for other screen-up pyramid hologram videos. Have fun exploring. <laughs>